to my channel. Today's video is going to be my plant updates. Where I'm going to give you all of my updates from my Christmas cactuses to my owl plant to my orchids. And I have um, a few updates on my orchids and a few updates on all my plants. So stay tuned if you want to see all the amazing updates I have for you. <music> Hey guys and welcome to my channel and let's get started in today's video. First, like always, we're going to start with the aloe plant. Look at this. Oh, I'm doing wonderfully. The leaf is starting to come out. You can barely see it right there. The leaf is starting to come out. Usually these older leaves would fall down before a new leaf comes out, but this one wants to be different. <laughs> It has its leaves still spinning straight up and a new leaf is coming in. <laughs> so this one wants to be unique. And I'm okay with that. So next we have my Christmas cactuses. So here's this Christmas cactus. It's doing quite well. There's no new leaves at this point and it really hasn't been cold enough for me to put them in the extra bedroom we have because it hasn't been that cold. It hasn't gotten past 67 the past few days, so. For me, if it's not cold enough to turn the heater on, um, then I don't move them, I just leave them here, so. Once it starts getting cool again, then I'll start putting them back in the extra bedroom. Hey, look at that. Look at all these beautiful leaves coming in, which is amazing. And at the end of this video, I will talk about my fertilizers and where I got them. So you can go and kind of see if you want to get them as well. And how much I use per the water I use. Oh my goodness, this one is still growing like crazy. Still growing like crazy. There's new leaves. There's one, two... Three, about three new leaves that I can see. So this is going to go crazy. I love it when it grows like that. So then you have these two over here, which are growing, and it looks like I have to water them today. And it's like every Christmas practice I've shown you guys, I actually have to water today. Which is very good. Except this one, I don't want this one. All right. So this one is growing quite well. Um, in my past videos, I said you never know if you're gonna have a leaf or you're gonna have a bud, which is very true. You don't know until it starts growing. Because sometimes the tips will come out as a red color until they start growing out and you're like, oh, it's a leaf, not a bud. So don't get your hopes up until you actually see it grow completely. If it grows into a bud, it's a bud. If it grows into a leaf, it's a leaf. So, we're going to get into my orchids. Now, I'm really excited because I got a new orchid this past week. So, here is the newest member of the orchid family. So, here's this one. Um, I basically had to save this one because I got it at the grocery store. Um, they were like on sale for 10 bucks, and I picked this one because I thought this one looked the best out of all of them. And when I got home, I saw that there was water in the crown, which is the quickest way to kill an orchid. So I did that. I got it out of that mess. And then when I went to put it in this container, I saw that a lot of the roots were dead. So not only was their water in the crown, they were suffocating the roots as well. So that's fun. So I have some buds on this one that I'm really excited to see. Bud. It's on there. I bought some distilled water because my rain barrel is not collecting water because it's leaking out and I have to get that fixed. So I have to go to, to a Lowe's sometime this week and get some stuff to fix the leak where the plug holes are. So that's always fun. 
And then we got this guy right here who's doing quite well. Um, I'm not cutting back the flower spike because it still looks pretty and it still looks good. And I just noticed something. <laughs> I just noticed something. Oh my god. That I don't know if you guys can see. I'm trying to tip, but not too much. But there's a new leaf right there. There's a new leaf growing right there. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but there's a new leaf. I just noticed that right now. I didn't. I checked them last night. I didn't see any new leaves or anything like that. But oh my god. So happy. So, so happy right now. So now we're going to move on to this one. Their water levels are all different based on their roots. So I put about 10% of the roots in water. And the rest are in air, which is the best way to go. We got this beautiful, who's still in bloom. Love it. And we have these buds right here that are started. They're going to come in in a few days, maybe weeks, depending on the weather conditions, especially this time of year, because it's mid-November. It's mid-November. And it's about two weeks away from December, and it's nice out. It's, uh, right now it's 86 degrees in November, which is something I'm not used to. Which is why the door's open, because it's so nice. Usually, during the winter, I don't have it open at all. And I'm just checking this one, just in case. But this one looks quite good as well and when I changed the water I went through every root system to make sure that all the roots were good. Um, I had to cut some roots from every orchid except the last one I'm going to show you. So this one, we got this aerial root right here. It's, it is what it is. Not every root is going to go down into the water. Some are going to be aerial roots and that's what this one is. And you just gotta let it do it. You can't force it. You can't force orchids to stand up straight. You can't force all the roots to go down towards the water. So we have this one right here. This is going quite well. Part of the root had to go, but the rest of it is still nice and good. And I have this root over here, which is growing a secondary root right there, which is awesome. So right here it's very small. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's very small right now. But I'm hoping that it will go down in the water. Because <laughs> right now I just have one root in the water. So that was the orchid. I did not have to cut any roots off. Completely. I had to cut it up to a point. But not off completely. So now we're going to get into my fertilizers that I use. So for my orchids that are in bloom, I use this bloom booster, which I got on Amazon. Um, it's the Grow More Orchid Premium Orchid Food. Um, I will try to remember to put the affiliate links to Amazon down in the description below, so you can just click on the link and go there. And for my orchids that are not in bloom and just growing, I just use the growing booster. So with my orchids, this is what I do. Since I have some that are in bloom, I have some that are not. I, put, I try to put them all in one container. I don't know how I'm going to do this when I have to fertilize them again. <coughs> so what I do, I usually put them in one container for each of the boosters. So I just get my distilled water or my rain water if I have it. I put some in the container. I put the fertilizer in the container. I use this spoon for my fertilizer because I don't use a whole gallon because if you're using a whole gallon you have to do what the package says I don't use a whole gallon so I did the math to make it even <laughs> so I put them in the water I put the fertilizer in the water then I take each orchid and I put them in the right container where they need to go and I let them sit in it for an hour that's it I let them sit in there for an hour I take them out and I put them back in this water if the water is still clean by the way, water's still clean, I put it back in the same water. If not, I'll change the water up. So that's what I do for my orchids. 
And for my other plants, for my Christmas cactuses and my aloe, I just used this Miracle Row right here. I used the same measuring as I do with my orchids. Um, I bought Miracle Grow from a Lowe's or a Home Depot, I think it was. So you can find it at any hardware store, actually. You can find it at Ace, probably. Ace, Lowe's, Home Depot. I'm sure you can find it on Amazon if you wanted to just order from Amazon. But yeah, that's what I use. That's, that's what I do with my Christmas cactuses and my aloe. Is I have a small measuring cup that's like a two measuring cup it's up to two cups i put the water up to the two cup mark then i put the same i use the same spoon to put in the fertilizer into the water i just mix it up because it's a powder form and then i just pour it into each um plant and then that's it and i just let it go from there that's pretty much all i do with my christmas cactuses and my aloe and my beautiful orchids so thank you guys so much for watching. Please like this video if you liked it. Share it to grow our community. And please subscribe if you are not subscribed. And hit that bell so you don't miss a video. And please follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I always post my newest videos there every time I have one. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys real soon.